This is a one-handed remote mouse control. Runs off of Bluetooth, and the way it works is you hold it in one hand and you move this joystick around to control the cursor on the screen. It's got a lot of buttons back here that are meant for use when you have it functioning as a joystick. In the mouse mode, this is your prime click, and this is your secondary click. Let's take a look at how it operates. So now I'm moving the mouse cursor with my thumb. Now, I don't know if you notice that, but there's quite a big dead zone when you try to move it up. So watch how I'm pushing the joystick with my thumb, and then watch when the cursor starts to respond. Yeah, that's not great. Now notice it doesn't seem to do that when you go in the other direction. No dead zone going down. That could be just this individual unit and not a basic fact of life for these devices. I don't know, I only have one of them. The other thing is that if you want to move slowly on the screen, it does okay for that. But if you pull the joystick all the way to its full limit here, you can see that it bounces or jumps across the screen. That's not a recording artifact. That's really the cursor jumping from one spot to maybe 100 pixels to the left, right, up, or down of that spot every few hundred milliseconds. So it's not very smooth. And that makes it pretty hard to select things. So let's say we go up here and try to select this icon here. I've had some practice and was able to do it, but it's not trivial. It's also pretty slow. Getting all the way across the screen, as you can see, is taking several seconds. Now we can adjust the speed of the mouse. Watch how much difficulty I'm having getting it where I want to be here. And it's a little faster, not a lot faster. Let's just keep on cranking it up. Okay, now it's very fast. Is it usable though? Let's see if I can get the mouse cursor where I want. And the answer is no. Now it just jumps right past where I'm trying to put it, which is on this little thumb control here. So you can't really use it at that high speed. You need to have it down here in order to be able to make precise movements. So now I'm going to try and stop on the thumb controller, and you can see I got relatively close. Not perfect, but relatively close. But watch how long it takes now for me to get all the way across the screen from the middle here. There, and then all the way back. So I think you're already getting the idea that this is not a super usable everyday device. So what kind of use might you have for this device? Well, it could just be used as a PowerPoint slide advancer, in which case this one button here would allow you to advance the next slide. I don't recall that PowerPoint lets you use the secondary mouse button to go back a slide. So in that sense, it's not really the ideal device. And then, of course, if you ever need to futz around with your slides mid-presentation, having control over the mouse cursor is a nice backup option, even if you wouldn't want to use it that way regularly. Now, what about as a mouse that you can hold in one hand, sort of like a joystick-based mouse? Well, it is usable in a pinch, but I think even with a great deal of practice, you would have a great deal of difficulty making it work well because of the fact that the cursor jumps in such big steps whenever you move the, cur move the mouse. So as a presentation aid, this is not the worst thing you could buy, although it's not ideal. You really want something that can let you go back and forward. You might like a laser pointer, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what about as a mouse replacement? Let's say you have a standing desk and you want to be able to control the mouse without having to lean forward to reach your desk all the time. Or let's say you have an exercise machine that you like to play video games on. Well, it's not very ergonomic to try and use a mouse or a trackball in that sort of scenario, but you could hold this in your hand and have some control over what's going on on the screen. But the problem is, as I described, if you want to move the cursor just a little bit, it works okay. But if you want to move it a lot, you shove it all the way forward and the thing jumps all around the screen. So I think that even with a lot of practice, you would never have much luck uh, getting good precise control. And so I think this device is really not very useful as a mouse replacement. 
Um, it's also not super ergonomic. If you're holding it like this, it's not too bad. It's sort of cradles in your hand. But if you're holding it like this, you have to really grip the thing in order to keep it still. Or if you're holding it like this, then it just wants to fall out of your hand. So I don't think that this is really a great device uh, for long-term use, which is again why it might be better as a PowerPoint presentation device than as a day-to-day -day mouse replacement. This device has other uh, features. It can work as a joystick, uh, and it can work as a media control. I'm going to do a separate video about those, so if you're interested, follow the link in the description.